Hey there everyone, my name is Jordan from Happen Films and this is a $420 tiny house, let's check it out. This beautiful structure behind us is the house that we built over the course of about three months out of pretty much entirely recycled materials. So the total cost of the house is about $420 if you include the petrol money that went into it. If the size is about two and a half by two and a half metres, that's 6.25 square. We went by dumpsters from demolition sites. We looked on the website Gumtree. We ended up getting pretty much everything we needed to build a whole house just for free. So we decided to try and build our home with just hand tools. Yeah, we tried to. We didn't manage to in the end. There were a couple of things that were too difficult for us to do with the tools that we had and the skills that we had. So we ended up having to use a power drill and an impact driver. We had to make five purchases. We bought some cement for the foundations, some steel bracing tape because it was a bit wonky, some screws for the roof, a little tub of wood glue for, to make some window frames. We bought chains to hold the windows open. Oh, and we bought the six things. We bought some hinges. So we were using salvaged um, paper insulation to try and um, line the whole house uh, and we ran out. Uh, we were just short and we didn't have enough to do the roof. Uh, but luckily we found this tarp in a dumpster. We were out a couple of months ago going through the local supermarket dumpsters um, looking for food and there was just this perfectly new tarp in brand new condition and it's still in its packet. I guess we wanted to challenge the idea that you need like a whole lot of high-tech tools and skills and knowledge to be able to build a house. I mean, that house is mostly built with a handsaw and a hammer. I think the main challenge we face is that neither of us ever really built anything before. Um, I, I mean, built a chip once. Yeah, Rachel built a chip coop. Um, I built a set of bunk beds once. We had to learn everything as we went. It takes it away a little bit from that professional need a whole lot of tools, need a whole lot of skills and a whole lot of different people. You need someone to lay the foundation, someone to build a frame, someone to paint it. The conventional building methods that are used, it's hard to imagine them being sustained more than 50 or 100 years in the future. Just the amount of resources that they require and the importation of all kinds of things. We acknowledge that this kind of building can't really be sustained either, it's not an indefinitely sustainable technique. But using recycled materials and building much smaller spaces is something that can be sustained for a lot longer um, into the future. We live on a community, which means there are communal spaces for socialising. We have a communal bathroom, shower. For us, um, a house is really just a place to be able to have some quiet time in, a place to sleep in, a place to store our personal belongings in. Living a more of a shared communal lifestyle means that we can get away with just a really small house because we don't really need it for all these other things. It's great to have built our own house. It's like more than just having built a house, the house is cool. Yeah, don't get me wrong, it's great, but to have developed the skills and knowledge to do it again and to like share that with other people. I'm just, yeah, chuffed about the amount that I've learned through doing that. Land ownership can be a huge barrier for people looking to live this way, and some people who see this may think that it isn't possible for them because they can't afford to buy their own land. The community that Liam, Rachel, me and four others live on is owned by one family, and they allow us to stay on the land rent-free in exchange for developing the property by building infrastructure, planting veggie gardens and taking care of the place. I feel that more scenarios like this will start to happen, where owners of unused land invite people to live on their property to develop a community and to do something great with the land. The challenge is connecting land owners with people looking to live this way. Even if you've got no skills and knowledge, you can kind of just do that yourself. And it's much easier, it's much more affordable as well for people like us who don't have a great deal of money. It's much more accessible to just kind of build a much smaller space and then share your other spaces with other people.